good morning welcome back to the channel today we will discuss about uh, jenkins server backup and restore uh, restoration okay with the new jenkins server right uh, the thing is that uh, why we required a uh, jenkins backup okay we have a jenkins in one server we are using multiple pipelines we are using for multiple projects based on our use case okay in a real time scenario what happens we need to do uh, we need to create a one uh, a one disaster policy right disaster recovery policy in that uh, in that drill we will do the jenkins servers also right so what's the use case of that why you need to uh, do the jenkins uh, servers backup first thing is the point is the why we require the thing is that we need to save our data protection right okay so jenkins backup safe gate like critical configuration job def uh, definitions and the build histories whatever the build histories are existing in a jenkins uh, server that we need to do periodically backup okay to make sure that if in case of any disaster happens uh, it might be with the uh, with the region disaster if you are taking the hosting of aws it might be a disaster it might be hardware failure it can be any mess up it can be anything if accidental delete uh, deletion of your server or uh, any breach uh, like security breach of your server uh, somebody can uh, hack into your server and can destroy so make it uh, uh, to retain or uh, to do the backup you need one more backup right so for the existing server we will do the backup so this is happen in the C, uh, in the real time environment too okay what does uh, it provides it provide uh, disaster recovery backup are essential for disaster recovery right whenever the server fails or data is corrupted or you require a backup with that backup you can create one more instance one more server uh, jenkins and we can restore all the existing uh, jenkins server which was backup and to make it new server right so these things are there uh, you can go to this document i will attach, i will upload it in the github i will i will provide you the link also from there you can go through that why you required uh, if you are going with some of the pro then there is a cons also right if you have something uh, advantage there is some disadvantage what will be a disadvantage in the sense it will be the storage head when you are doing the backup complete backup of your server then you are you have to share your storing in s3 bucket then the storage will be going up right so there will be storing charges will be applicable for you okay and based on your frequency how you are making your backup frequency it is periodically like you are setting up one week two week three week uh like once based on your use case or based on your organization behavior or recovery policy you can do with that with that the price uh, may go high and the second uh, the third step will be security risk security risk in the sense when you are making a backup to s3 bucket then you must keep your infrastructure very secure it should not be accessed by any xyz person who is not authorized right so these are the things uh, that come with the pro okay so uh, the thing basically is uh, as i mentioned that it's for the recovery a uh, disaster recovery okay schedule black uh, backup when you make all the backup you will do the drills also periodically to make sure that whenever there is uh, that dis uh, disaster happen can we recover this okay when you are backing backing up with uh, something like s3 bucket or all the data you will do a periodical drills okay this is coming with the like uh, disaster recovery uh, disaster recovery plans drill plans based on that it's coming with that policies okay and uh, for that what is the pre request in the sense uh, we require one jenkins server which is up and running and we are assuming that this, this, this jenkins server is uh, like uh if there is a, some pipelines in that uh, you have some plugins installed and you have done some of the uh, like uh, configurations you have done you have created some pipeline with the script or shell script or uh, free uh, freestyle job you can do uh, like based on that requirement uh, we can uh, just have a one server jenkins server which is uh, which is a default jenkins server right for that we will do the recovery right so we need we require aws uh, cli to be installed and we will assign one uh, im rules to that right we will create uh, one im rules we will assign the policies we will provide s3 bucket full access to that and we will assign to instance this parts will be covered up in the lab uh, part okay which we will go for that okay so if you see there are some steps how you want to configure this you can go and review it okay let's save and we will go and we will install one new server so i don't have any existing server i have deleted all the existing server i will create one quick uh, launch instance right with the launch instance i will make it at uh, jenkins jenkins server default right just i will name that i will take ubuntu image right ubuntu os t2 micro is sufficient for me 
I'll create one key pair. I'll keep uh, Jenkins Jenkins uh, server Jenkins server, right? Fine. I'll keep it name one, so I should not get entries. But I'll create the key. Mm, then everything is fine. VPC is fine. Default. Then everything is fine, fine, fine. I'll just queue launch instance. Okay. Okay, the instance uh, is taking time. It will take few times today. This is the uh, one which we terminated. What we will do, we will create one more instance. So to minimize the time. Okay, we'll go. We will name it at Jenkins, right? Uh, Jenkins backup. Backup, right? Jenkins backup. Two, right? We will be using for the backup this uh, instance. So I will take T2 micro is fine. I'll create one more key pair Jenkins Jenkins uh, backup server, right? So I'll create, uh, I will review. I'm, I'm going with the def I'm a default VPC subnets. Everything is fine. Just I will say launch instance, fine. So let's go and check. Okay. This instance uh, which we have created default server which is up and running fine just we'll copy the IP of this and we'll go to mobile extreme we'll provide uh, the IP we will give Ubuntu right just I will click here I will use the key which we have downloaded uh, the key for this uh, let me go back to downloads just I will take Jenkins server one. If you click OK, fine. This is done. Uh, what we will do? sudo su, right? Fine. Uh, we'll go. Okay. Anyways, now what we have done? Uh, we have a here. First thing what we will do? We will avoid the packages. sudo apt update. sudo apt update, right? is updating the package meanwhile what we will do we will go here and we will follow the steps quickly to minimize the time what I required I required a uh, Jenkins uh, sorry uh, Java to be installed in my server JDK 17 version right just I'll go and I will paste here I will hit right just why The Jenkins is getting installed, right? We'll go and we will check it. Uh, is my second instance which we are making as a backup? Is it uh, started or no? Let me just refresh. Yes, the backups also is working fine. So meanwhile, what we will do? We will do the same step there also, uh, so that uh, we can minimize our time. Just I will our session. I will click on yes. I'll provide the IP here. <clears throat> just I will do Ubuntu, right? Here and just use private key, and I will take the private key is the backup server. So I'll get into the server now. Okay. So what I will do it? I will update uh, this also. sudo apt update, right? And we'll go back to the Jenkins. fine sudo apt update is working here uh, just i will update uh, the java here okay just what i will do it i will rename this uh, so it should not be any confusion for us right just i will make it as jenkins server right for that i will keep it as uh, Jenkins uh, backup server fine so we can know with the name itself right so if you check here java f1 v okay v is the null if java f1 version okay the version is exist here so it's saying that it's already installed let me see just prompt why let me zoom so it should be visible to you 
uh, let this also get installed we can use uh, like multiple options to paste it right because we required uh, we required the Jenkins right so what I will do it I will go to the document uh, where the Jenkins has to be installed right so what I have to do it I have to copy this all the content fine I'll just click here copy we can copy from here also copied and I'll go back here uh, the Jenkins server also is fine here also fine so what I will do it I will check uh, in my backup server also Java is installed or no is there any issue is fine so both have their own right so I will use this step multi exit right to paste it uh, completely with one okay one time I can paste in so I'll click multi paste fine I'll click enter so the Jenkins is getting installed in uh, our Jenkins server and the backup server too just I'll prompt Y enter we will go and we will see the next steps okay uh, the next steps are just to check uh, the Jenkins is enabled anyways uh, we will start the Jenkins let uh, the Jenkins complete its installation okay fine Jenkins is already installed status what we will do we have started the Jenkins right uh, so what we will do now we will just check the status of the Jenkins uh, is our Jenkins is exist the service is in the st running stage or no okay showing the running stage right so now what back here we will go back here right just give control c so here we are then control c fine cd i'll go to home ubuntu right fine okay i have not used sudo su no, for no issue sudo su okay root is fine we are both is now now what we will do it uh, we have already installed the Jenkins here right so the Jenkins password also is here just I will go and access uh, the Jenkins to access the Jenkins I need the IP of my Jenkins uh, server right so just I will paste here then I will click here 808 here right so it will take me to there okay I missed down what I uh, what I have to do it I have to enable 808 port here right so the security group okay security group is done just add uh, the inbound rule add one rule custom 8080 uh, just for 00, zero fine okay so if you refresh here it's show me that okay fine now I'll go back uh, I'll go back to AC2 running ec tools then what i will do it i will okay i'm into the jenkins now just a second so now what we will do we will log in into the jenkins server right so where are the key the key is here if you go for the jenkins you will be finding the key here okay or else you can find in the same path also so I'll just paste here just I will save install the plugins right we need to do only the step in one server only that is a Jenkins server we don't require to do in the backup because in, during the backup it will take all the uh, like administration password and everything content exists in the Jenkins server so just we will wait for the few seconds let uh, it installed by default all the plugins here fine 
uh, till that what we will do we will go and we will create one s3 bucket right we require s3 bucket right so we will go here and we will go to the s3 bucket console just uh, i'll click on the create bucket i'll give the bucket name as uh, jenkins backup bucket right uh, just uh, i'll keep all the public access block i can keep on also no issue it does not depend but still i'll keeping it on uh, i gave the name i have chosen ap south one because my instance also is in the mumbai mumbai right so i'll be using the same thing uh, bucket versioning is fine, no issue. Just I'll create the bucket now. Jenkins bucket already exists, okay, no issue. So, what you'll do it, I'll keep only Jenkins backup, uh, backup asim, right? So, I'll give my name because it has to be unique in complete AWS. So, Obviously, no one will take my name bucket, right? So, just is creating the bucket. Okay. The bucket is all around. The name is there. If you click here, okay, you are into the bucket. Uh, you have all the details, right? The permission, ARN, uh, everything is there, right? So, for this to attach to the AW, like uh, AC2 instance, we require IAM rules also, right? So, what we will do it, uh, I'll go back to services. I'll go back to IAM roles. I'll create one IAM role as Jenkins, right? Jenkins backup or Jenkins user. Based on our <coughs> use case, first thing what we will do, we'll create one user. Uh, we don't require user. We'll create one role, it's fine. Just uh, create a role. It's the AWS services, uh, choose S3 fine uh, we'll click next uh, then we will give the policy as s3 full access s3 amazon s3 full access next fine what is the name of the name of this i'll give jenkins uh, backup role right backup role so this policy is already selected okay fine sts amazon okay default just i will set create roles if you click on the roles you will be see like uh, the role will be visible the what is a jenkins backup role so here is a jenkins backup role right this part is also done okay now we'll go back to the uh, jenkins right jenkins server so we'll go here and what we will do we'll create a user as admin asim right uh, password also i will keep it in your case you should must keep uh, the strong password right this is only for knowledge purpose i'll keep asim fine email address anyone so what i will do it i will save this so that i should uh, remember right this is uh, Jenkins credentials, right? Fine. This all is back and red. This is done. I will go back here and I will click save. Yes, we know this part. Okay. By using starting. Okay. Start using Jenkins. Fine. So currently we don't have anything here, right? So we don't have any plugins or anything installed or something else. So first thing what we'll do, we'll go here in the Jenkins. Uh, then what we will do, we'll go to the plugins. We will install one plugin. Uh, let's take uh, which plugin? <coughs> uh, I will add it as a sonar cube also. We can add it or else Nexus, right? Nexus repository. Okay, fine. I will add Nexus repository, right? so it's showing me this yes is getting installed fine so what we have uh, done we have added one nexus repository right just i will add a uh, plugin installed 
on Jenkins server. When we do the backup, uh, we have if we check that a Nex uh, Nexus Artifacts Uploader plugin should be ex like uh, exist right in the, in the backup server also. So just to validate uh, our drill a part of a drill, just I'm installing one one uh, like a default plug not non default plugin. Okay. You go to the back okay fine uh, no jobs are running no issue for me i'll go to the dashboard uh, just i will go to uh, create a job fine just i will give it jenkins server test one okay i don't have anything i'll take freestyle project i will kick freestyle okay and then what i will do it i will go just name is uh, Jenkins server test right uh, what I will do it I will use the git uh, I will take the git uh, hub repository uh, what was my repository I can tell you my repository just I'll click here I'll go to the repositories okay from that repository you can find it uh, to do list I'll take a uh, website fine just i will copy the url of this and i will give it here because my repo is public so i don't require any credentials uh, master is fine no the branch is in the main let me just check it uh, if you check here the branch is main so i have to give the branch also main uh, the part is done so just i will click save fine i'll do it build now okay if you check the console okay console output uh, the status is successfully done what happened it go to my github repository which i have provided the url from there is fetching all the details right all the contents uh, is fetched if you check here uh, let me show you the console output workspace see you have all the content in here if i go and check uh, with the same i'll show you how do you check that if you go here if you click here console output uh, there is a path here right just copy this part uh, use the command cat sorry i have to go to this is a directory right i have to go inside if you do ll then you're finding all the existing code which is uh, available in my repo right the same repo is cloned so now what happened uh, that uh, in my jenkins server this is a jenkins server right i have a code also i have the pipelines also okay everything is done so now let me go and check uh, the default plugins you know very well uh, where it's stored it's stored in lib jenkins right so what i will do it i will go here here is a lib right so here our workspace is saved if you ll here you'll be finding jenkins uh, where is j j j jenkins okay jenkins here if you go inside the jenkins okay if you ll here you'll be finding all the things that means uh, the java is installed the java dependencies are there no dependencies are there plugins are there secret keys are there okay updates are there workspace is there uh, the pipelines exist in uh, workspace everything is a job is there if you go for cd jobs right if you ll here you will be signing c1 uh, job you have created which is jenkins server test one right fine uh, if you go back uh, to cd workspace you can see all the content which we created just now okay you are seeing the content uh, workspace for the jenkins user if you go here uh, in the jenkins workspace you'll be seeing all the content here right this part is done now what we have to do it we have to make a backup of this all the contents backup of what uh, var vip and jenkins right so what i will do it uh, cd jenkins right where i am now here fine the next step what we have to do it uh, we'll go back here uh, just a second okay the first thing what we will do it we will create a one uh, one backup using the command and we'll make it the compress uh, file right let's continue our lab right so what we will do it we will uh, try our lab and i will show you how this things goes well right how we can make jenkins server backup and jenkins uh, server to jenkins backup right 
So what we will do it uh, just uh, we will ls and we will see what the content is available here then we will use uh, the system ctr command to check uh, the jenkins is our jenkins is uh, in the running state or stop state okay if we enter here it's showing that uh, the jenkins state is stopped right so before making a backup we, we must keep jenkins stopped okay so we will go to the document we will go uh, the below <coughs> right we will go the below and what we will do it uh, we will use the command uh, jenkins uh, ZFF, right? So just I will paste here and what I will do it uh, just <coughs> so if you check here okay Jenkins we will find ZF is that is used to make the compress of our Jenkins backup dot tar dot gzn okay and which the directory okay is showing that var lib Jenkins right so we want to back up this uh, what are the content is available in the var lib jenkins for directory all the content to be made as a compressed right like a zip format okay so jenkins is where all the stored workbooks everything is stored here so if you hit enter it's showing that yes it's converting to the file okay so in this all the things if you notice here jenkins plugin jenkins nexus artifacts everything whatever available in the jenkins all will be backup okay and it will be back up in the sense it will be in the only in the zip folder okay we are making as a direct in the one folder we are making backup in one folder right so if you ll here you should be able to see one tar dot gz folder right uh, and don't forget to be in the root and do all your uh, activities here you have to be root access see if you see here jenkins uh, backup dot tar dot gs is already backed okay as a directory backup in the directory now what you have to do it you have to push you have to push this directory to s3 bucket right so for that we required the packages the, the, the package in the sense we required aws cli if you type aws and enter it will prompt you that is cli is, is installed or no so it's showing me that no it's not installed you can use this apt install aws cli or snap install aws cli but in our use case what we will do we will use python pip3 uh, package okay with that help we will install cli right if you go to aws official uh, document where there you can find a lot of steps how to install aws cli okay if you scroll down uh, you will be seeing that okay we can use this step to uh, first what we'll do we will update our packages right so just uh, we'll go here and we will update our package sudo apt okay the packages are getting updated then what we will do it we will install uh, pip3 okay packages okay if you want so if you see here if you want to install pip3 install aws cli the dependency that you should install python 3 before that so python 3 pip we are installing it right so it's prompting me why okay fine so it's in a downloading uh, in progress so it's getting download okay now what we will do we will install uh, aws cli just click here copy the command paste here just paste here just click enter so what happened the pip will install the aws cli into our uh, jenkins server right ec2 instance okay it's installed we have some warning okay we can uh, ignore that okay okay fine it's showing the successfully installed now what we will do it we will update our packages after installing a cli just to make sure all the update has been taken okay the update is done now what we will do it <clears throat> we will go to the instance okay uh, we have to click on the uh, no we have to go for the s3 bucket right because uh, we have created s3 bucket right so just i will take you to the s3 bucket okay. here if you just see okay this is the server jenkins server default right which we have created jenkins server if you check here we have to make sure that uh, we have installed uh, where it is in the security i guess no no it is in the security just click on the security then you will be finding modified am rules uh, we will check we, uh, we have not assigned any roles right so what we will do we will assign jenkins backup role right with that role we can access s3 bucket and we can upload the content we can download the content with that okay we, uh, we will check we will validate is that uh, we have attached to Jenkins server or by mistake we have attached to Jenkins backup. So if you click here on the security, 
right if you go for the modified am rule see here we already assigned am rules okay fine the role is already assigned if you go here you will find in jenkins backup right awesome this is the uh, bucket we have created right so we'll go back okay fine this also is done if you see jenkins server default okay now what we will do we will go back to our uh, terminal okay we will follow the second step uh, what we will do is we will copy <laughs> just go here i'll show you the uh, arn where we have the arn from where we can copy right if you check in the permission you will be fine uh, scroll no up if you go up in the property itself you are finding aws s3 jenkins back backup aws right this is the arn right this format we have to copy so if you check here uh, let's uh, paste it here okay we'll copy the jenkins backup uh, name of the bucket we will paste it here right okay and uh, we will just keep it here okay and what we will do it now we will remove the spaces uh, what we have there is one more space we have to remove from here just copy this command Okay, LL here you have a Jenkins backup dot 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 GS, right? So this also the name is sign, uh, correct. Okay, you will use this command now. Okay, copy the command Jenkins backup. What is done that uh, it will push to this uh, S3 bucket the content of our Jenkins backup dot dot uh, dot GS, right? This is the same. So if just you have to remove the space, I think we have copied wrong just go here and we will remove one space right don't worry in the document i will give it the updated way okay fine uh, this command is that with that aws s3 okay we are saying that copy all the content uh, to this directory from here if you go up and we will see what uh, mistake we have done okay we'll go up go up error invalid choice why is showing me invalid choice okay we have used the wrong way uh, actually what happened we have to use aws uh, we have to use the copy command right so what we will do we will add in our document don't worry just i will edit the document give me one second uh let's see we have that now right uh, just uh, just give here see this is the command which we have to give in uh, before that arn and everything we have to give aws s3 and we are giving the prompt dot copy okay jenkins backup dot tar the existing this directory which we have above right and from here we have to push it or to push into the s3 bucket the bucket name is here and the bucket in that which we created one directory jenkins backup dot tear there you have to push all the content right so if you do, uh, enter this it start uh, updating uh, like pushing all your content of uh, jenkins backup dot dot gz tar dot gz to s3 bucket okay <coughs> so it's already successfully showing me that uploaded where it is uploaded into this bucket so what we will do we will go into aws right uh, what we will do we will go to the bucket okay we will just click on the bucket uh, what we will do we will refresh if you refresh here it show me that jenkins backup dot dot dg is here but you may be assuming that it may be uploaded right the data also is showing that it's today is downloaded right we have updated uh we have pushed our content to s3 bucket now so what we will do it uh you may have confusion we will create one more directory or any file and we will upload to s3 bucket to make sure that connection is uh like uh, like uh, properly connected and we are able to push all the content so just what we will do we will use the touch command to create uh one asim.txt file yes fine fine now okay so now what we will do it uh if you see here if this is exist right we will use the same command fine aws copy aws uh, cp command and we will use uh asim txt right the file which we want to push right yes okay then what we have to give the arn of the bucket the bucket arn is this okay so fine then you have to give the slash the name also should be same asim.txt if you enter here it will upload into your st bucket okay now you may thinking that this is from cli is fine now we will validate through gui just if you refresh your st bucket okay you should able to see the file here okay this file is there 
async.txt fine the upload one is done so the jenkins server we already made the backup of the jenkins and we, we created one dot tar dot gs we have upload to s3 bucket so the scope of jenkins server backup is already completed now the scope of uh, retention or uh, or to uh, make it on the on backup server then we have to proceed for the next step okay uh, in the <coughs> we will make it create a jenkins backup server we already created one uh, fresh jenkins installation right uh, restore backup by running store jobs created during configuration whatever the backup we have we will restore in this server now so before that what we will do it uh, we will go just uh, we will go here okay we will see the document uh, before that what we have to do we have to go to the jenkins backup and we have to install aws cli right before that what we will do we will check the status of our jenkins uh, in in the jenkins backup right server because in the tutorial starting we have installed jenkins on both the server right jenkins uh, server and the jenkins backup server server in the sense i'm referring to ec2 instance okay so we stop the status uh, system of the jenkins if you check that with the command the system ctl stop jenkins right it should prove me that uh, the system is stopped right system okay showing that uh, this is the jenkins is stopped okay we are not creating any user for the jenkins we are not accessing jenkins in the jenkins backup instance we are doing nothing we are doing just we want to make it uh, just clone we will pull s3 bucket uh, all the content and we will install the jenkins existing uh, configuration only okay just we will copy the command before that we will install the packages we required here also right aws uh, cli we'll copy the same way as we did in jenkins server to the jenkins backup uh, we will install pip3 install cli aws cli okay after this Just paste it here, click pip3 install CLI. So it starts downloading. Okay. Fine. The installation is already done. Okay. The next step, what we will do, we will check AWS. So it's prompting that okay, AWS is installed because it's providing me the AWS help, right? So AWS CLI is already done. Okay. And uh, what we will do, we will update the package after the installation of AWS CLI. okay fine now what we will do it uh, just just will go here uh, what we will do it we will now fetch all the contents available in uh, s3 bucket right uh, to this uh, jenkins backup content right we will paste it in. but the problem is that it will prompt us uh, as the error the reason of that is that we have not edited our command okay just i will show you just uh, as a way just uh, just follow this okay I will show you the right way also this is the wrong way just to just show you that we are facing the errors also right without errors it's not very well uh, to execute over everything right so we will do some wanted errors so if you click here okay so it's proven me that uh, you're using the wrong command right okay we give everything correct we have given jenkins see it's showing me that the user provided path there does not exist okay the thing is that uh, we don't have the directory to backup actually we are not pushing the content to aws uh, sorry aws s3 we are uh, fetching the content from there so what we have to do it you have to edit this folder we have to use this command now okay just i will paste it here what is the thing is that uh, you have to provide first s3 uh, s3 bucket uh, arn then you have to mention where we have to backup if you want to upload then you have to provide what we have to provide first the the directory of this uh, instance then you have to mention the the bucket later so this is, this is the way so now what is showing me that unable to locate credential okay this also error is, it should be available the reason for this is that we have not, not added any im roles to this uh, jenkins backup server okay so if you don't add any aws uh, roles aws im roles then it will show you through uh, through error that you are not authorized to connect to this uh, buckets okay so what we will do it well we will go here no we have taken wrong instance i guess just go for the jenkins uh, backup server okay just click here just go for security then you go for modified am rules then you click here you assign one jenkins backup role which we have created okay 
so now if you go into the terminal and just you click uh, this use the same command and hit enter it start fetching all the content from s3 bucket so let me show you that see is downloading 195 okay the successfully done if you check ll you're finding jenkins boy backup dot t dot gz right this is the one which is available in s3 bucket so now one more step before you uh, unzip this directory i mean this folder what you have to do is you have to delete the default jenkins available uh, in this server okay when we are installing any jenkins uh, jenkins on your ec2 instance by default it is all the jenkins related content is installed in varlib right you see here jenkins right what we will do we will use command rm uh, hyphen rf to delete uh, jenkins right so what we will do we will delete the jenkins now jenkins directory all the related to jenkins all the content available that will be deleted because we want to tweak the existing clone of the jenkins server right okay so why you want the existing one so we will delete this jenkins if you ll now you should not be able to see the jenkins here see uh, this was the previous that was below where below h right it was below below here it was here so now it's already deleted okay the part is done now we'll go back to slash home slash ubuntu sorry uh, jenkins i have to go to the ubuntu user okay sorry ubuntu directory just give ubuntu uh, if you ll here there is a one directory here right okay this directory we want to make it unzip right so the the command to unzip is here uh okay and one more thing in this uh in this command you have one error i'll show you the error also okay if you enter here it show you that you're using the same character twice okay you enter here no you have to give the jenkins i think we did a mistake it's small j jenkins okay just enter hit enter see it's showing that you are not specifying more than one argument we are giving two argument the reason for that is zard x v c also we are giving here and at the last end of the command also we are giving a hyphen c so it's making an issue for that so what we will do it now we have deleted one cf right so we have deleted one cf right we have reviewed our error what we is recommended just hand, just hand, what happened okay we did mistake again we have to rem just give j small okay no issue in the document i will update everything okay so the document is updated one you can follow we will update the package now sudo apt update okay we have now typed apt sudo apt update okay just get update and after this update what we will do we will go to the default directories okay cd var lib okay if you ll here you should be able to find no jenkins okay because we already did uh, unzip also the existing directory so just go to the jenkins cd jenkins uh, you if you ll here if you go to the workspace just go to the workspace and see is uh, do we have our existing uh, pipeline which we have created in jenkins server existed here or not so we'll go here uh, cd workspace if you do ll see you we have a one uh one job right one pipeline okay we'll go to the jenkins server and we will validate the two countries are matching or no right we'll go to the cd uh web lib var and lib right libraries jenkins i will go to the workspace directly if you ll here okay just go to the jenkins server test okay we'll go to this pipeline we will see what content is there in the jenkins server we have this all the file exists so it should be available here also because we already did the backup okay uh, jenkins server if you ll here you should be fine okay see all the content is there okay through cli okay we validated that uh, it's properly backup and we try uh, we properly did the drill to make that backup to real time scenario right so our disaster recovery is fine now what we will do it we will check our jenkins server because with jenkins we have stopped before right to make it so what we will do it now we will run our jenkins uh, in the starting mode make jenkins a start okay 
so it will take few minutes i think to start the jenkins because it has to use all the backup data and to make it uh, available <coughs> so just what we will do we'll go to the jenkins backup uh, we will add maybe in this uh, in one tool we have not added 8080 port so what we will do if you want to access jenkins you have to enable 8080 right uh, i know you are all aware of but I, I will always repeat so i will add here uh, custom tcp okay just i will add 8080 port which i want to open just paste it here save fine so now the jenkins status we will check the jenkins status okay it is in the active running status right now what we will do it we will copy uh, ec2 instance uh, the backup server's ip and we will access uh, uh, jenkins gui right so if you click here you should uh, copy the ip of this give some on right a0 a0 just enter now yes it's providing me username and password but the thing is that we have not created any user right uh, for the backup so it's already we have created for the jenkins server so you have to use the same credential of jenkins server so where we have stored before we have stored here as the admin as same right we will copy the same right we will paste it here and we will paste the password also which we have given the same okay just click inside you should be able to log in okay so this drill also is successfully done with the, you can uh, use the existing uh, uh, credentials to log in at the Jenkins server. We have the Jenkins one pipeline also, right? So before that, what we will do it, if you check here, the IP, uh, this is IP of our backup, uh, Jenkins backup, not Jenkins uh, server IP, okay? 9090 if you see here. So now you, if you go to the Jenkins, uh, what we will add right now, we have installed one plugin in the Jenkins server, right? So we will check uh, that uh, plugin is while restoring it is installed or no. So if you go and check, it might be Nexus uh, Artifact, right? Okay, it's Nexus, Nexus Artifacts Uploader plugin. Just go to the install plugin. Just type here Nexus. See, it's existing here. So while restoration, it's uh, by it installed the plugins also. And let's go and check the pipeline. Okay, if you check the configure, whatever the setting you have done in the configuration, it should be available here. So what we did, we have we provided the URL of Git also, right? We provided the name and we provide the Git URL in the Jenkins server, right? So we given the main and everything it restored. Okay, so this drill is validating that this, this drill has been successfully done. Okay, this is the way how you can do the Jenkins server backup and push all the content to S3 and you can create one new instance Jenkins and can you can restore from there. Okay. Uh, if okay this is the things happens in the real time also uh, when uh, you can make the backup periodically based on your requirement in the if you're working with the organization you have a policy you have to follow that it might be weekly once weekly twice or monthly once monthly twice based on your company hierarchy or a policy hierarchy based on that if you have to follow and you have to make the backup right this is a manual backup which you have to do it continuously okay so this is the way you can do it uh, Jenkins server backup and you can uh, restore with the new Jenkins. You can create multiple server with the same configurations. Okay. But make sure to keep it everything safe because if anyone get to this uh, backup of S3. Okay. Then they, it can be an issue. They can restore it. Uh, restore it. Okay. <clears throat> so if you go below, we already cover all the contents we have given everything mm -hmm. this document is not up to date what i will do it uh this is not just standard way or it's not structured way so i will make the structure of this document and i will upload in the uh, in the github and i will provide you the github link in the video description okay uh, from there you can just download this uh, this document and you can follow all the steps related to this uh, this tutorial Hope don't forget to share and subscribe with your family. Thank you very much to copy. Uh, thank you very much.